Good morning, or I should say noon, good noon, or is that something people don't say? Whatever, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video. Today we're continuing again, of course, on the race car. Today we're gonna weld the exhaust. I need to stop, I've been doing too much, I've been running too fast, I've been testing my luck. I've been living cloud nine, I've been at it all night, I've been feeling so loved. I've been waking up late, I've been making up shit, I've been feeling my guts I've been feeling so blessed, but stressed all day, so I'm letting out my dreams like every night To continue on the fuel lines, I have to figure out which one is the feed and which one is the return. So um, I took a look under the car and on E28, um, all the, the fuel pump, also the fuel uh, filter, it's all exposed under the car, so it's really easy. Um, from the tank, there's a thick line that goes to um, the pump and then through the filter. You can just see the, the circuits running. And then it goes uh, over into hard lines and you can just follow the hard lines under the car. And uh, the feet is the hard line, the most to the outside, uh, the outside of the car. And it runs um, to the most upward position. So the, um, we have two lines here and the, the, uh, the one above should be the feed. On an M50, the fuel pressure regulator is on the back of the rail. So that means that the feet has to come in through the front and the return has to go to the rear. That's the fuel lines prepared. I say prepared and not finished because I have not connected them to the fuel rail. The reason being the fuel rail only goes on uh, when the intake is on because the injectors, you have to push them into the intake and uh, you need this to be able to, uh, yeah, to move. And when the fuel lines are connected, that isn't really possible. So I've put a clamp here, that's the clamp that's ready to go on here. Same with this side, a little bit longer uh, rubber, but uh, yeah. So that's the fuel done for now. Um, my uh, piece of the exhaust that I ordered, the downpipe from an E34, they came in. But I'm afraid it's not going to work uh, as good as I thought it would, so I will have to then cut and weld them. Uh, I've never done something like that before, but hey, we're here to learn. So. Um, as you can see, it's really tight down here. Uh, there's not a lot of space between the first exhaust flange and the subframe. So uh, I might have to cut off this tab that, that you see stick out there. Uh, I don't even know what it's for. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see. But I'm not gonna tackle that now. I'm first going to continue on the things I can do, um, like uh, the wiring. I think I'm gonna start with the wiring. Forget what I just said, change of plans. I realized I don't actually have the right parts to connect the wires properly. So uh, yeah, it's an adapter that I'm gonna use longer. So I want to make that yeah, in a proper way. So I am going to start with the exhaust. So um, I, I've tried to put it on, but it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit. And I think it's because of this bracket and uh, this little tab, but this bracket it's uh, I think it's specifically to M10s to 589s. There's like a little damper connected to the block and the subframe. I think to dampen, uh, to basically help the the engine mounts and the, the rubbers. So it dampens the, the forces between it. I don't think it had any effect because I haven't seen it on any later BMW. So it was probably yeah something they tried, but it didn't really make a difference. So I'm going to grind this uh, this off. And I think that's going to give me enough clearance to where, as you can see the downpipes right there, they will actually fit on here. So if that fixes my problem, I'm gonna be really happy. So then I don't have to uh, cut off and re-weld the flanges and all, because that sounds kind of tricky. <laughs> I could only reach half of it with the grinder, so I had to do all of this with this little handsaw. But actually, yeah, it went pretty good. Just a good amount of elbow grease. 
the sound no this is gone I'm going to paint it a little bit so it doesn't rust but I hope I have enough room to fit the uh, the down pipe right so uh, the bracket alone wasn't enough I had to remove the little tab that was on here as well I used a multi-tool for that so now this is gone as you can see the exhaust the down pipe it fits so uh, really pumped about that I'm gonna show you under so it's all uh, pretty tight but if the two tube tubes nice along the frame rail and uh, now I have to see the rest of the exhaust where they meet up and where I need to weld them but uh, again good news this is the exhaust that I will be using so it's a straight pipe uh, with a 528i rear silencer so original from an E28 uh, yeah it's not a piece of art by any means my mate used it with his M30 swap so uh, I know with all this it just fits uh, on that car with these mounts so I'm basically just going to weld these to the downpipe from the E34 that I just uh, installed just to, to see where it lines up um, it's quite rot in here as you can see it's actually completely tore out so I'm going to repair this first clean it up and try to weld it as good as possible because it's already been repaired a few times and yeah I don't know how well that is gonna hold up but yeah that's what we're gonna do right now so uh, yeah <laughs> wish me luck Welding uh, the holes in the exhaust. If you're a welder uh, yourself, you know how hard it is to weld something that's very rusty. So that's because that's the, the reason it looks like this. So uh, yeah, old spot welds over and over and over. It actually went better than I expected, but yeah, this thing it's not gonna, going to win any beauty contest. So uh, this will do. I'm pretty sure it's all sealed now. So yeah, I'm glad that is done. So now I'm going to put it under the car and see where I have to cut the downpipes and then weld the two together and then the exhaust is done. We are uh, under the car now. So this is uh, the downpipe as you can see. And this is where it converts to one pipe to go to the catalytic converter. I'm not going to use a cat, uh, just a straight pipe till the, the last uh, silencer. But as you can see, this is a position that the rear part of the exhaust will be in. Um, and uh, as you can so you see the difference, so it's actually too short. I imagined that this would come up to here, and I would then uh, I would have just cut it here, welded it together, but it's too short. Um, this was well, not really an issue, just have to go to the store tomorrow and pick up some tube. But that got me thinking because uh, I still need to, to install um, an O2 sensor in this car. And on M50 there is only one, and it it usually sits about here, so uh, where the two pipes uh, come together. So I'm thinking maybe ordering some kind of uh, an X uh, an, uh, an X pipe to put in between here and there, and then there uh, I stick a, a bung in, and then uh, the O2 sensor right there. So uh, I'm I'm gonna see if I can find that, but uh, if I have to wait too long or something, then we're not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, otherwise I have to stick a bung in only one uh, exhaust pipe and then it only reads um, one of, well, only half of the cylinders. It's still going to adjust them all, so I don't think it's going to make a massive difference, but it's maybe a better way to do it like that, so... Uh... Um, obviously when I cut it here, both uh, parts will be loose and if I weld them, again, there's a good chance that I'm never going to get them on again because the angle will be off. So I'm first going to weld two plates here and here so that these things don't, do not move from their position. Then I'm going to cut it off here and weld the X-pipe on it. 
So as you can see, yeah, this isn't gonna work like this. So I'm going to weld this one straight and the other one I'm going to make a bend. Well, not a bend, uh, well, yeah. Just with another piece of pipe, do like this. I know it's not perfect for flow, but the whole uh, exhaust is really a hackery job. So uh, I don't really care too much. Oh, oh, and look who we have there. <laughs> guys so we're here right now so uh, put on the plates as I said to make sure it doesn't change position now we have our X pipe now um, it's going to be a little bit more work than I, I thought so I was thinking of doing it like this this is the outside putting this straight and then hit making a bend here but it's uh, yeah, it's a way bigger difference than I thought uh, and also the diameter is actually not the same as you can see it slides over it so um, made a little mistake there with measuring and with the, the order it's not too bad I can still weld it when it's uh, over it though that's not the biggest issue it's again worse for flow though so now I'm thinking it's going to be yeah bridging this is going to be a bit of a yeah, shitty job. So I'm thinking of actually cutting a strip out here and welding this together. Um, but yeah, I have limited experience in welding, so I don't know if that's a good idea. Or I should order just another X pipe with the right distance, the right diameter, but then I have to wait for that again. So I don't know. Or maybe I should go to a local shop, hope they have something, something I can use. But yeah. This sucks. <laughs> okay, I've come up with another idea. So maybe I can try adjusting this. If it fails, well, too bad. Then that's 50 bucks out the window. Not too much of a problem. And maybe source uh, an, X, an X pipe that is made for this uh, exhaust. So for an E34 525 or an E36 325. If it's not too expensive, I have no idea. Or I just ditch the X pipe idea for now and run two pipes just straight to uh, the rest of the exhaust you can see under there which is going to be the easiest because it's just straight two pipes and it's going to be done really quickly when everything's sorted I can go to a shop with this exhaust on and see what they can do what I, and then I can ask what is possible and look exactly for what I want so because I have crazy plans for the exhaust I'm not going to tell you yet but um, it's going to be unique so uh, but yeah, we'll see about that, because money does not grow right here. So I mocked up the exhaust under the car, and uh, basically all we need to do is put a straight piece of, uh, yeah, of 50 millimeter tube in between the back part and the downpipe. It's, uh, it's 34 centimeters. So I uh, just need to weld it as straight as I can. As you can see, it's nice and easy. And uh, then the exhaust is done. Oh, no, I'm lying. And need, still need to drill a hole for the O2 bung and weld that in as well. Okay guys, the pipes are in, Ta -da. so um, yeah, I'm still learning how to weld properly, so uh, this one was the first one, seemed very thick, and then the second one was already a little bit better, and uh, I basically got the machine better and better adjusted, uh, because yeah, I'm welding that's the most important thing, well, you have to be able to weld, but 
that's a, lot, a large portion of it because this machine it's an easy machine a very cheap 150 euros so you can just regulate the, the power so from one to six and uh, the wire speed but uh, yeah I'm, I'm happy with the result so now I'm going to let it cool down for a while and then uh, make a hole somewhere around here for uh, for the bung for the O2 sensor and then the exhaust is finally done the uh, diameter of the bung is 23 mil I don't have a drill of that size so uh, I've roughly marked uh, the outside of it and then I'm going to take a small, uh, small drill bit and drill a lot of holes until the center comes out and then with a file until this fits nice and snug in there and then we can weld it on So as you can see, the bung fits nice and snug. I give it a few taps with the hammer to uh, get it seated really nicely in there. So now we're going to weld it all around. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave. So as you can see, it's um, it has a, yeah, a stop in it. A threaded, threaded stop nut, whatever. I'm gonna leave this one in. That way, when I weld around it, the, it can't warp or there's a less chance that it will warp because the thing is still inside and when uh, I'm going to leave it in until everything is cold, then take it out and it shouldn't have deformed so that the O2 sensor goes in nice and smoothly. We're done welding the bung. It's a bit harder than just welding the pipes together because the bung is a lot thicker material than uh, the tubing. And so it's not that easy to weld two different thick thicknesses of metal together because either you don't have penetration into the thick metal or you burn through the, the thin metal. So I think it's okay, I think it's sealed. So uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm going to let it cool off now. And when it's cold, I'm going to pour some water over it with soap and then I can see if there are bubbles anywhere. So holes that I still have to, uh, to weld shut. And then, then the last thing we're gonna do this video is um, the left part of the wiring harness. So all of this stuff, I basically don't really have to touch. So I'm going to make the hole in the firewall greater, uh, bigger and uh, put, it, put everything through there. I'm gonna try um, because I have to make the hole bigger, I'm gonna try to make it the size of this piece and then I maybe can this can sit flush in the firewall and then it will uh, look pretty good, I think. So that's what I'm gonna do now and um, yeah, that'll be it for today. <laughs>